Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This video is how to use the Stealth AI Starter Pack from Copper Gaming on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So as some of you may remember a couple of months ago, myself and my game studio Copper Gaming released a Stealth AI Starter Pack on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which there'll be links to in the description down below. And this now is a quick video, quick tutorial on how to best use that asset pack. A lot of people have been awaiting for this, so I'm happy to finally provide it. So we're going to be covering the basics and feel free to join our Discord server in the link in the description down below as well to ask any further questions and to just interact with the community as well. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm probably going to open up a new level so you can see it working in action in a fresh clean level. So I'm going from square one. So I'm just going to create a new level here. So actually let's just go file, new level, basic, and I won't save that, I don't need to. So then what we're going to do in here is I'm first going to set up some basic AI. So what we'll do first is let's go into our content browser. We'll go to Stealth AI here. Then we'll go to Enemy AI and drag in BP Enemy AI Parent. I'll drag that one in here straight away. And you can see on the bottom right here, we have our details panel. If you don't have that, you can go to Window and then go down to Details and Details 1. Here we can change anything we want about this and in the future there will be more options come to this as well in future updates so stay tuned for that. So for example we have the mesh here we can change to anything we want. I'm going to leave it as our copper gaming enemy one that we have here. What we can also do is under default change the AI type. I'm going to leave it as search for the moment and search time here isn't necessarily for searching about randomly. So the AI type of search is kind of random roam but the search time here is when they are actively chasing the player and this goes for all of the AI type. When they're chasing the player, if they lose sight of the player, how long will they continue searching for? So for example, if the player walks around the corner, they're now out of eyesight, they can't be seen. The AI won't just stop following them immediately. They'll keep going for three more seconds and if they don't see them again within the three seconds, they'll then stop chasing. But you can see all I've done here is I've dragged it in and I've not changed anything and this will now work for random roam. One more thing we need to do is add in a nav mesh bounds into our level to ensure that AI can move. So let's go up to the add actors up here. Then we can search for nav and just add in the nav mesh bounds volume. And then I'm just gonna scale this up to cover the full size of my map as I want it to cover everything I have here. So I'm just gonna do this perfectly like so. And then to test it, what we can do is hit P on our keyboard. And you can see that the floor is green. Anywhere where the floor is green is where the AI can move. So if we were to hit simulate now or play, you can see that this AI is now randomly searching everywhere throughout this level where they can move because again, the floor is green. They will go somewhere, stop for a little while, and then they will continue moving about as well. Now let's have this actually be a guard instead of search. So we can change the AI type here to guard. And then if we go down here under guard post, you can tick use current position or a guard post position. So I'm going to tick current position. If we hit play, you can see it's not going to move. It's guarding where it currently is. However, if I were to untick that and then use guard position, what we can do is change where this is going to be in the level. Let's get its current location here, 150, and I will paste that into here just so we have a quick reference. And then I'm just going to move this a little bit. So let's just move this forward slightly. So let's say 500. And now you'll see they're gonna to move to that position where we want them to be guarding and then stop there. So that gives you the flexibility to have them guard wherever it is that you want. I'm gonna put it back on use the current position and then what we'll do is I'm gonna walk in front of them as well. So if I were to walk in front, let's actually add in a player start, sorry. And then also in the world settings, we'll set the game mode override to stealth game mode. Now if we hit play, we're gonna spawn in. Once this AI actually sees me, it's gonna detect me like this. And then once it's fully detected me, it will leave its guard post and then start chasing me. Now I can't really show it well in this current level. So I will set something up as well. However, when it stops chasing me, it will return back to this current guard position. So what I'm gonna do very quickly is just make it so I can hide the player just for the purpose of this video. So I go into demo, characters, stealth character, BP stealth player. All I'm gonna do is very simply in here, when I press nine on my keyboard, I'm just going to simply toggle hiding the player again, just for the purpose of this video, so I can showcase it working. 
And what I also want to say as well is if we select the AI character once again, under default, we can change the detection time. So the moment it's five seconds, which means as you saw there, it saw me and it took five seconds to fully detect me. You can increase or lower this. So if we set it to two seconds, now it will take two seconds to fill that bar, as you can see there. And now he's chasing me. And if I were to simply now hide the player, he's not gonna be able to see me anymore. As you can see there, he's still chasing me. However, he couldn't see me. And now he is returning back to his card post position where he currently was. So again, you saw that he continued chasing me for a little bit. That is the search time that I was talking about. And then as he stopped seeing me, and then once that search time was up, he stopped detecting me because he couldn't see me anymore. And he returned back to his guard post position. Perfectly like so. Now let's set up the final one of the patrol. So we can change the AI type from guard to patrol. And then what we need to do is use some other blueprints. So we'll go back into our content browser, go to stealth AI, and then enemy AI. And then what we want to do is we want to drag in BP patrol point master component. And you want to make sure that you do have this in your level that you want patrol paths. However, you only want to get this blueprint once. Then we're going to get BP patrol point. So if I drag this in here, and then what I'm going to do is set up all the dev details I want. So the patrol path index, I will leave as zero for this one. Arrow size, I'm going to leave as five, but you can modify this to make it easier to see for you for the dev. And the text size, you can do the same as well. So you can increase this. I'm going to leave it as it is. And you can change the color too, so that you can have all the different patrol paths be a different color. So they're more easy to differentiate between. So that's it, let's do a nice green. And then that's all you need to do. So now what we'll do is we'll hold down Alt and then drag out to duplicate this. So we now have the next point. And we'll do this again and again until we get all the different patrol points that we want for this patrol path. Once we've done that, we're going to select our BP patrol point master component. And then you see we have this refresh box here. We're gonna tick that and make sure you notice what happens with the text of these patrol points. So we tick refresh, you see we've now got path zero, order zero, order one, two, three, and four. So this is the order that we drag them out in and that the AI will go between them. So if we now hit play, or let's simulate this one, we can see that this AI is gonna go to these different patrol points and it's gonna go around them. So it's gonna go here to here to here to here to here. What I'll do is I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch them and walking this slowly. But again, you can see that this is gonna be working perfectly for the patrol path that we have just set up. So we just got to the first point and now he's moving his way to the second and we'll go through the whole thing and we'll loop that continuously as well. So as you saw, it's just gone through all the different patrol points on that path. However, what if you want to have more than one path in the same level? That is very easy to do as well. So what we'll do is we'll get in another BP patrol point here and we'll now set this to a different index. So we'll set this to a patrol path index of one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just duplicate this again. Once we set up all the details we want, we'll duplicate this out perfectly like so. And then we'll get in another AI. So we'll drag in BP enemy AI parent here, and we'll set this to patrol once again. And then you want to go down and you see patrol path index here. This one I left as zero because I left this path as zero. However, this path index is one. So we want to set the path index for this AI to also be one. So that is how you can link which AI will go to which patrol path. So now if we once again hit refresh on our patrol path component, you see the order has updated. Now if we hit simulate, both of them are gonna to go to their separate patrol paths and go down along the whole index. As we can see, they're gonna to go to their paths and go around them and we have multiple patrol paths within the same level. And you can do that for as many as you want and have as many different AI on the same patrol path as well. Very easy to set up, you just drag it in the level and you change that one thing that you want. And once these AI detect you, they will start chasing you and once they lose you, they will go back to their next patrol point within their path as well. So if I play this again and run in front of them, you'll see that they'll start detecting me and then they'll start chasing me. So this one is set to five seconds and the other one is set to two. So you can see he's now chasing me. The chase music has also started and if I go over to this one, he's set to two seconds. He's now joined in on the chase as well. If I hide, they will continue searching for me for the duration that has been set, which is five seconds, I believe. That one had a lower search time. 
this one's got higher, they both stopped chasing once they stopped detecting me, and the chase music stopped once the final AI stopped chasing me. They're then moving back to their next patrol point within their patrol path, and they'll continue along their path, perfectly like so. So I think that'll be it for this quick video on just showcasing how to use the three different main AI types within the Stealth AI starter pack from Copper Gaming, which again, linked in the description down below is on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So please do check it out if you are interested in this sort of thing. And again, there'll be many updates coming soon, and we're always very happy to help with any further questions you have in our Discord server. Again, linked in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me showcasing how to use this asset pack which I have made. Any feedback on this pack is greatly appreciated as well as again, we're constantly going to be updating this and we want it to be the best asset it is for you, the community. So any further recommendations you have, please do let us know. And again, if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me and the channel a lot. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.